I'm Captain Stacy Spell, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred near 77th Division on June 24th, 2021 at around 10.39 p.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. On June 24, 2021, at around 10.39 p.m., uniformed 77th Street Area Gang Enforcement Detail Officers were patrolling an alley adjacent to the 1300 block of 88th Street when they observed the suspect standing next to a parked vehicle. The officers observed an object resembling a handgun in the front pocket of the suspect's sweatshirt and attempted to detain him. The suspect ignored the officer's commands and began to walk away. The suspect then removed the handgun from his pocket, at which time an officer-involved shooting occurred. That suspect was later identified as Daryl Grant. Grant was not struck by gunfire and was taken into custody. The officer-involved shooting was captured on the digital in-car video. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside which activates when the camera lights are turned on. The camera can also be manually activated. These digital in-car cameras have a buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. Here's the digital in-car video from the officers involved in this incident. The officer-involved shooting was also captured on the body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They're worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here's body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, let me see your heads! Oh my god! 
Hey, get, get on your stomach, man. Get on your stomach. Don't move. Hey, are you hit? Did you shoot him? Hey, are you hit? Did they shoot him? Get back. I don't know. Are you hit? Did they shoot you, man? I don't know, man. Touch. 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 Hey, where'd you throw the gun? Mm -hmm. have, uh, suspect prone out, right out right now. We're going to be in the East West Alley, south of 88. Did y'all shoot him? Are you okay, Meme? Are you okay? Baby, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do you feel anything? Hey, do you see where he tossed it? Yeah, yeah, it's to the left. Can y'all check somebody? Over here? It's to the left, bro. Don't worry. Face your head to the left, man. Are you hit? I don't know, sir. All right, we're going to check you out, man. We're going to check you out Be quick. Hey, man, are you hit? Yeah, I'm hit. Is there anybody else who's hit? Hey, you guys are going to check out right now. Are you hit? Yeah, I'm hit. Yeah, I'm hit. Yeah, I'm hit. I don't know, baby. Uh, um, go, uh, I can see the gun, bro. I can okay. see the gun. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah, we got the gun. Yeah, we got the guns over to the left. Where's the gun? And it's, let's deal with him and then now. Let's deal with him. Okay. Hey, 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 are you hurt? I don't want to be cool, man. Right, I'm going to sit you up, right? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. 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 Go Grant was transported and booked into an LAPD jail facility. Investigators recovered Grant's handgun at the scene and booked it as evidence. Investigators discovered that the handgun was a ghost gun. Ghost guns are firearms manufactured without serial numbers and do not require background checks for purchase, making them untraceable to law enforcement authorities. Ghost guns are generally homemade from polymer plastic or metal that needs minor modifications to make them operable. On June 29, 2021, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed one count of possession of a firearm by a prohibited person against Grant. Daryl Grant is a resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. 
If you would like more information on how the LAPD and LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.